Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to check out the wildest video that I think I have ever reacted to on this channel. I saw like three seconds of this, and my brain has already deemed it so hilarious that I went and made Pizza Hot Pockets. This video is called None Other Than When Cops Rescue Boyfriends from their evil girlfriends. Let's do this. In today's episode, you'll see a crazed woman who thinks her husband is cheating on her with a woman who actually passed away. Oh. oh God. She takes no medication. And when she don't what? take it, she becomes that. No. Then, an extremely possessive girlfriend who simply won't stop controlling her boyfriend. Why do they want to separate us? They won't even let me out to you. You have to come to me. Austin, come and save me, Austin! A woman who smashed what? her partner's car and then attacked him because he didn't want to sleep with her that night. Oh! You made me a black eye and you're gonna f***ing arrest me. <laughs> Look. You can't yell at nobody to bone First you you'll meet Tamara, an extremely jealous and dangerous wife who constantly terrorizes her husband for no reason. One day their conflict escalated so much that he had to lock himself in a room behind oh. a door he had reinforced because of his wife, and from there he communicated with the police. Upon arrival, the officers immediately realized the situation was serious. This is actually what unconditionally loving someone will get you. Real talk. She's not going to answer the door. Here, Claire, he's advising she's still actively trying to break the door down. Yeah. Does that have a back door or anything that's unlocked? He's advising all the doors are locked. Yep. You may get it. I don't think been kicked down a door. Get out here now. This is my your hands right now. Get down here. No, I'm not coming down here. This is my house. I She faking that whole masculinity shit, nigga. No. She Amber Heard in this, bro. She ain't really trying to, bro. Bro, she's breaking my door down because I'm having a conversation with my husband. I am nothing So you guys can't just take me to jail for arguing. There is not a problem. The problem is, is he does not know how to admit that he's wrong. He doesn't know how to admit. That he cheated on me for so long. So what's going on? Well, you guys can see in reports that this has happened multiple times. Yeah. She uh, she takes no medication, and when she don't take it, she becomes that. No, no, me he's and wrong. Had a thing with her friend. He let her live four years ago. That friend's dead. That relationship ended. It's all. I mean, whatever. Obviously, but, since she's passed away, but <laughs> she gets triggered and thinks a fault, and then goes nuts over. I didn't do nothing wrong. You guys are crazy. I swear to God, I will get a fuck and see because I haven't done. This in my That's why I, I stopped living with females, bro. You guys did justifies breaking my. That's why I don't live with females no more, bro. You guys gonna come arrest me when I've not done anything wrong? Don't Jeez. don't live with females, bro. I, I in my head because this has been going on for two years now. Institutionalized. She needs to be put somewhere and get her medicines right, or maybe even talk to her. Not unless you, not no, unless I you've mean, been with that chick for at least like. There's gotta be. She won't like us forever. I don't know. You gotta like, see how that chick is for like five years, years bro. Uh, Twenty years. In order to she live with this chick, bro. Am I going to jail? I don't know what's going on yet. I just got here. I swear to God, I've not done anything wrong. Oh boy. I beat on the door. Yes, I did. Yep, go. Because I wanted him to answer me. It's a woman. Go ahead and he believe can her. Sitting there. You believe and her. He can call the cops. Yep. And tell him I'm going crazy, but. He won't answer me. I mean, it's seven or eight medicines. And they changed him last year or two years ago. They changed her to lithium. That really, she went nuts as stuff. Hearing stuff, she sat in that bed, was talking to people that's dead. Telling me that my son walked by the door and left with some people. He was in his room sleeping. She did believe she got raped, and I still was 50-50 on that because she's mental, but hey, happened. 
So I didn't say it was 100%, but I didn't say I didn't believe her either. But there was never no evidence, no nobody, nothing. My medicine had nothing to do with any of this. It had to do with the fact that he always runs away and hangs up on me. He can never just have a conversation with me. No, nigga. It's always got to be something stupid, childish. Yeah. Putting his fingers in his ears, blah, blah, blah on me. Don't nobody want to like, hear her. not listening. I don't know what to do. It's okay, Chris. The police know exactly what to do. They will now start to gather evidence to be able to press charges against Tamara. For now, she definitely has domestic violence and resisting arrest. Chris will now show the police a video how his wife tried to break down the door with a hammer. There is also a recording of a phone call with the police where Tamara can be heard rampaging through the house. So I'm seeing damage and chips on this door. Is that old or is that new? Uh, this is from previous right here. This all right here is from the day. Uh, the door not being the, broke off. Like marks and stuff. Yeah, that's from the that, day. Probably from that rubber hammer there. I would say. Okay. Uh, so she had the hammer there? This one here, so she's trying to hit the door with this. That hammer. I don't know if you guys see anything else. We're going to need to photograph all the measures you took to, to bar the door. Um, Marriage! Yeah, so she can beat you. Trying to break down the door. Yeah, I can see the door not moving. And I feel like I had a stroke. I swear to God, I've been talking weird. Like my voice is all weird. I think I had a stroke. And what really sucks is he didn't even have the common courtesy to open the door and see if I was even okay. That's Probably because answer. she had a huge hammer in her hands, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'm going to ruin your and when you fall asleep anytime, I'm going to come to the house. Duh. So. If she's manic, I believe that possibly is a possibility. She's not manic, because nigga. People that are manic are just not. She's there. not They're manic, not nigga. She's you getting got. Today? Same thing. She thinks about this girl. Her name was Marcia. Twenty years ago, we had a thing with her, I like a trouble thing, like three people. Mm -hmm. Okay, that ended anyway. You know, but I mean, she's dead now. This girl's dead. So that ended way long time ago. Uh, so that's about five, 15 years ago in ended. The person I've dedicated my whole entire life to and stayed faithful for and have done everything been faithful, there bitch. for him and forgave him for cheating on me. I feel like bitch, I've you been was in it to taken move. advantage of and I feel like I'm It was a threesome, ho! He makes me look like I'm crazy. So I thought after you know, so many times we're talking about it, everything's going to end, it's not ending. So it's either the medication, it's not right, or it's her. she's really messed up in her head, and I don't know it. She don't respect you, so stupid. I don't know what to do. That's the kind of respect get a different I get. Female. Being dedicated to somebody and never doing anything wrong. Behind my back for 12 years for him to get caught. Bitch, doing it was in front of your back, bitch. It was a three way. Times he got caught. And then his friend told me, well, he's cheating on you. And I'm, well, again, he's cheating on me again. It never stopped, is what he said. I wouldn't get the fuck out. It never stopped for Bye, 16 bitch. years. I don't give a fuck. You never hurt me. So I was in there for about an hour before I even called you guys, or maybe even longer, just trying to let her wind down. But there was no winding down. There's she, no winding down, but nigga. The thing is, I love her. She's my wife. 20 years. I just want her better. But I don't know how to go about it. The I don't know how to go about it. Officers found out everything they needed, and Chris's story matches the evidence. They will now take his wife to the police station for a detailed interrogation. Oh yeah, that safe we showed a little while ago, that's where Chris stored his weapons and hid the key, so Tamara couldn't get her hands on the weapons during one of her jealous episodes. Now, I'm pissed. I, I understand. Why? Right. Just listen they to me. They broke in my house. Okay. And then tackled me to the ground like some kind of goddamn criminal, because he says that I'm crazy, like I'm some kind okay. of... Listen, just listen. Like listen to me. Okay. Mother just, was in danger. I'm like, I was crazy. So, like, I don't deserve this. I look like a goddamn fool in here. Yeah, you are. Man, yeah. Act like a fucking, act like an adult, and you'll get treated like one. Is because he made a fly for domestic violence by threats. And I didn't okay. even hear anything wrong. He was on the phone. Oh yeah. Oh, I love it when they cry. Oh, I love that. I love that. They're so the good. Door or leave or even give me a comment like there's nothing it's like he don't i don't know how you she doesn't respect him do something to somebody 
and justify not even giving that person an explanation, not answering that person, just completely ignoring that person. Have a conversation with me. You don't have to act like a little kid and put your fingers in your ears. You don't have to threaten me with the police. You don't have to threaten me with me like you have some kind of power over me. I wasn't always the nicest to him, but to try and justify your actions by telling me that you cheated on me because I was mean to you. Yeah. You were hurt on 911. Yeah, bitch. Threatening. Fuck you thought I was going to do, bitch. Harm to him, yes. No. That's what we They must not have heard what the I said that. My, I was screaming. You were and screaming. I was going crazy you were going fucking crazy. I felt like I was having a stroke. No, time, because you don't respect it. For some reason, my like voice kept no. acting really weird. No, you were being masculine. I really did think that's I That's called being masculine when and you're yelling. Ah, that's called being masculine. You wanted him to come no, out there Chris so you did not come to check on Tamara. More. But she did end up facing charges for domestic violence, aggravated menacing, and resisting arrest. Austin, they're trying to separate us again. Austin, everybody, don't leave anybody in here alone with your stuff. I'm trying to protect both of our stuff. Won't do Austin, it. they're no. trying to separate okay. us. Let me take Austin. the sister. Okay. Let me take the sister. Come out here. They're trying to separate us. Look, that right. not separate us right. from this. Do me a favor. Go upstairs for me. Okay. I'll come okay. back down here and talk to you. Austin, you're protecting me. Austin. Austin, you don't shut the door. Austin, 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 no, I'm not doing it. Austin, no, 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 buddy. Austin. Or do you want them to stay? We were going or do you want her to leave? Austin, your family didn't even want and she takes off didn't her clothes year, and she I mean, stops I mean, yelling and agrees to Austin, suck some dick, then she can stay. Stop talking. Hey, Austin, hey, hey listen, questions. listen. Stop talking for five minutes and let me talk to him. You got me. You Listen. Can see him. Stop. Can you talk to us together? No. 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 Why I'm can't talking we be to together? Austin. Because this is in Austin. Austin. Exactly. Oh, Look. Wow. We can never be together. Why? Just wait. I am talking right, to Austin, him. I'm not trying to take. I'm not trying to take him away. I don't know what's going on either. But you scared. just wait. This is your place. You tell me what you want. Tell her to get out. And that's what's going to happen. Tell her to get out. Nigga. Oh, you, 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 you ain't going to stick her out? I need Please you to calm here. down. Please Austin, calm down. All I care about is your property, not your safety. Think about it. That's all everybody's asking for is your okay, property. First last name then. Austin, please come back to me. Don't go. Let's go downstairs and talk. Don't separate us. What on earth is going on here? This is Austin, and he is the victim of his extremely possessive girlfriend. She moved in with him and refuses to leave and turned off his phone so his family couldn't contact him. So Austin's mother had already called the police before to do a welfare check. It's a good thing he moved her in. <laughs> Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to do that to him. Austin's sister went to check on him because he again wasn't answering his phone, and she called the police because his toxic girlfriend had taken his phone and laptop so Austin couldn't communicate with his family in any way. Austin, Settle down. They come to me. Don't leave Wait, me. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. Don't leave me, Austin. Please don't leave me. Where your stuff then? Austin, don't do it. Don't do it. Why do they want to separate us? They won't even let me out to you. You have to come to me. Look at me. Listen. Don't give it to them, Austin. I'm don't give them. don't Listen. show them where it's at. Listen. Don't Listen. show them yet. Can I come in, Austin? No. no. Austin. To Austin, don't show them. You have to plug my phone in. Austin. Your son, Austin, don't show them. Don't, sh don't shut the door, Austin. Austin, no. Austin, no. Austin, he's smiling. Let him. Let me in. Austin. Just calm down, Austin. Austin, they're smiling. They're smiling. Put your hands on me. You go, know what? Austin, Austin, you're out. Austin, you have to save me. Austin, don't give it to him. What the fuck is going on? Oh, Austin. Word? Austin, they just got us separated. They got me on the outside and you on the end. Austin. Hey, listen, there's people sleeping. Austin. I'm going to need you Austin. to calm down. What is he doing? He's talking. Austin, they're going to arrest me. Austin. Hey. Stop. Stop. You're not allowed to do this. You have to let us see each other. You're breaking the rules, Austin. They're not letting me in. You are don't shut the door. Listen. Austin. No Austin, don't leave me. Austin, don't stop. shut the door. Austin. Hey, stop. No. You just grabbed me, all right? I didn't grab you. you call Everybody's down. been hurting me and I don't right. know why. No one's touching Austin, you. Austin, do not show your sister. What the f is going on? What is going on? I want to know what's going on with you. Me too. Go downstairs, smoke a cigarette. I'm not leaving Austin. Austin? 
Right now you are. Why? Because I'm telling you you're going to right now while they're talking. Okay? You're causing more of an issue right now than what needs to be. Austin, okay. you said you believed in me and I believed in you. Don't Austin. You touch me. Austin, you can't do this. You have to. Oh my Niggas God. be really Austin going is through this, don't they? Go downstairs, Austin. Only you can make me leave. I love you for you What the? Oh. What is going on? I don't know. What's going on? You tell me. Austin, I you can't... have to let me back in, please. I can't tell you what's going on. So let's go Austin. downstairs. They're making me leave, Austin. We're not making you leave. We're just trying to separate you. Okay, in a minute, please. No, I want you to go downstairs. Let me get my dog ask you and my drink time. and my lighter. I'm going to ask you one more time. Austin, come and save me. Austin. Come on. Don't Let's touch go. me, please. Austin, Let's you said that he had to make me leave. Austin. I, you're not leaving. I want you to come Austin, downstairs. Austin, if I go downstairs, Austin, they're going to take me. Why? Because. Who are you to okay. this situation? No, I'm her ex-husband. Her, his mom posted on Facebook that he had been Austin, missing for a few hours me, and that she couldn't get a hold of him. Don't I reached me, out Austin. to his mom that and I've been talking on the phone with his mom. Me. His mom's on the phone Austin. right now. Right. She just wanted me to come over Austin, and make sure and that nothing happened to her Austin, daughter while she came me. over here to check on him. What's, is she over here? Who's over here? Her daughter is. She's up there. Just, just sit right there for five seconds. I just want, okay. So I can talk to him and you can figure out what's going on. Because you don't know what's going on, obviously, because you're freaking out. So just give me because, a second. Austin, like, listen to them. Do you see what they're saying? Right. All right, we're Austin. just bringing all your stuff out. Austin. All right. Austin. Hey. Austin. Hey. Just stand back Austin. here. In cases where the issue is primarily civil, like an unwanted person refusing to leave but no immediate danger, police often perform a civil standby. This is where they stay on site to keep the peace, while Austin makes arrangements for his girlfriend to leave or collects her belongings. In case she is a tenant, then they would have to go through the eviction process. Here, the situation is very simple because he literally just has to decide whether he wants her to go or stay. Austin. My jack bag, my jack bag, my red bag. What is Austin. a jack bag? Austin, look at me. Austin, Austin. That's what I Austin. Okay. Austin. Okay. Austin, look. Austin, he's smiling, Austin. And they're going to take me away as soon as you put all my stuff out. Only you can say I can stay, Austin. Can I talk to him? No, can I, no, you're why not. Why can't I talk no, to him? you're not. Austin. You better come with a blowjob. You understand me? You're not. Austin. You better be able to make not. me nuts in, in six minutes. Steps. Austin. The best part. With nothing but mouth. Austin, Start grabbing please talk stuff. to me and before we leave down the road. Austin, please no. talk to me. No. Austin, stop. That is no. my best friend. Mm. Right Austin, now, no. you're throwing the stuff she out. She has not had sex with him in months. Austin, look. He's going whoop, whoop. Austin. Why are you smiling? This is not funny. Walk downstairs. Everybody's been separating me from my best friend. Walk He's my best friend. Bitch, I'm your you're, boyfriend, you're, you're bitch. Why, why, why do you mean okay. best friend? Get her Stop out of here. Stop touching him. Don't get in his face. Uh, friend zone. You're not getting get out of here, bitch. Apartment. He done told you, so quit trying to push past him. Can you unlock your truck, Austin, so you can take me somewhere safe, please? Okay. Okay. Austin, yes. I want you to take me somewhere safe. Yeah. He said it. He said yes. No. He, said, he said yes. He said yes. No, he did not. No, he did not. Austin. Austin. Right, let's go. Let's go. Go downstairs. We're going. Come Austin, when you take me somewhere safe, look at them. Austin, please. Go. Only you can touch me. Will you still take me somewhere safe? Austin. Go. Austin. I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. Not. Austin. Okay. They don't want you to take me somewhere hey. safe. Stop. Will you still take me somewhere safe? Right. Austin, please. Ow. It's a break of my arm. Yep, stop. if you suck more dick and stop doing this, I would care enough to take you someplace safe. But I'm not going to do any of that because right now you're just, uh, what is going you know, on? Just, you want to hide Tell me what's going on. This, I, I know what this game is. This is a fluke play. Austin! Austin! She's born again virginity in him. She's probably told him she's a born again virgin and all of that, man. I've run into a couple of these. I'm not, I'm not falling for this. Nope. Really a hobble. Stop. Just stop. You're going to jail for disorderly conduct. Thank you. For what? Disorderly conduct. What? Austin. Are you disorderly conduct, bitch? Please let me be. No. Can I blow my pants off me right here? You better sit Why are you guys doing this? Here. Because you crazy, bitch. Why? You want to act crazy, we're going to treat you crazy. That's not on. Like you give a fuck about those feelings, nigga. After Everybody this love drama, crazy. Austin's girlfriend was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. What happened? What is this? I don't want to have sex today. Where'd she go? Inside. She's inside. Scratched you? Scratched me, bit me, hit me in my f***ing face. Where does it hurt? Arms, legs? Everywhere. She does, she does this all the time. Who is she to you? 
my ex-girlfriend now. Ex-girlfriend. Has this ever happened before? Yep. Yeah, I just barely got a case dismissed for you. Same thing? She was beating on you? Yep. Mm -hmm. I think shit would change. Who does it? Aurora no, Fernandez. You know. Yeah, once you uh, you know. Once you Sheriff's email, office start becoming super disrespectful. Okay, it's just so this just happened when you called us. Get a different one, you know. You no, know, then then I've been trying if to they calm act her down. Cool, if they act good and nice and friendly and feminine and shit, what she do first? Should she you know, they can stay around, but, you, but yeah, if they act well, like that, she, first it starts off by throwing. Shit, shit. good luck. Oh shit! Then she rushes me, tries to tackle me. Yep, good luck, bitch. Laying on the bed, just trying to stay calm, you know. And then that's when she comes out of nowhere and just jumps on me. And she's scratching me on my arms. Uh, dispatch mentioned ah, something about a rock. Sleep. Did she threaten you with a rock? Yeah. Ah, rock about she baby a bitch. I ah, rear naked to choke a hoe out. One of my she wake up later, she'll get the hint. Once she wakes up later, she'll get it. You were in the driver's seat and she threw it through the window? Ah, cho ah choke the hoe. Females don't play with Jesus, me with that man. shit, nigga. Uh, I don't even look like that. I don't. I do not look like the type of dude at all to be doing any of that weirdo shit with me. Scratched him, scratched his back, bit his leg. Um, and then grabbed his phone, took it away from him while he was calling 911. Hey, just come out here and talk to us. Before we meet Aurora, Ew. let's first summarize what happened that night. Oh. After her boyfriend refused sex because oh. of her period, she bit him, scratched him, broke his guitar, threw a stone at him, broke his car window with a weight, and took his phone when he decided to call for help. The boyfriend claims that she is often aggressive and that he regularly suffers her violence. During the fight, Aurora got a bruise under her eye and now she will use that as an excuse to shift all the blame onto her boyfriend. Duh, According to her, woman. she is the victim. And he Duh, is the one harassing he's her. He's a man. Of course, right, she's right the here. victim. We she's have a woman. They're gonna, they're gonna come check out your hand. What happened to your hand? I don't know. He fucking hurt me. He fucking punched me in the eye. <laughs> so what happened to your hand? He fucking hit me. I was trying to defend myself. He fucking punched me in the eye. Has your hand and your eye the only place you're injured? <laughs> I don't know. Did you lose consciousness when he punched you? I don't know. Just have a seat. I need something to drink. Alright, I'll get you something to drink. Have a seat. It's right there. <laughs> this isn't even my phone. That's his phone. I don't know where he fing threw my phone. Your phone's over your phone's right here. <laughs> Let me see, can we get that phone? No, it's mine. I you just said that his, for it. That's his phone. No, I paid just for it. To that. No, I paid for it. I'm not giving him a phone that I paid for. But you just told me it's his phone. He was using it while he was with me. If he's not going to be with me, he don't need it. I still am paying on that phone. Okay, but that's your phone though, right? Correct? This one? Right. Why do you have his phone then? Because I pay for everything here. I pay for everything here. He's not even a man to be even paying for shit here. How did all this start, Aurora? Ask him. He told me, I don't want to get your side down. Well, then go with it. Your demeanor changed really, really quick after yeah, getting that water. I'm trying to help everybody out and figure out what's going on, okay? Because apparently this is not new to both of you. No, it isn't. Right? But he's the one that keeps on coming back. I don't go to him. He comes here. Well, why do you let him back? Because I think he's going to change and he does it. Then he turns into even worse. And look what he does to me. Everything he fucking does to me. He tries to play the an innocent one here, and he's not. He came out here, I was sitting here, okay. and I was drinking, and he got pissed off, and he started talking to me, and then started hitting me. What did he get pissed off about? Because I was drinking. Nothing else? There's no other reason besides the drinking? Did he want to have, did he want to have intercourse tonight with you? Have you been drinking? No. She wanted to have sex. I didn't want to have sex, because she said she was on a period. She just started calling me a and saying that I'm just I'm, a I'm worthless and she could get it anywhere else and blah blah blah. No, she can't. I need you to step out of the. I'm not room. stepping outside. Listen to me. Hold on. I'm not stepping outside. Listen to me. We are most likely getting a search warrant for the residence. You go right ahead. Okay, so I need you to get out. I'm not gonna get out. Not until you okay. have a warrant out for my arrest or whatever the fuck you need. But I am not leaving my premises right here. Okay. Aurora. I'm not leaving it. Aurora, you need to listen to me. If you do not leave, what you are doing is you're obstructing me. I don't give a the shit. The investigation. I don't fucking give a shit. And I that don't is the give way that you should be put in jail. I don't I, give I a shit. I told 
Two minutes ago, it's in your best interest to cooperate with us. We're just in an investigation stage, okay? If you pull me out of here, I will get a f***ing lawyer okay. and f sue your guys' ass. Let's go ahead and, and I'll get my parents over here. I, I want you to know right now, we are giving you optimal opportunity. I don't give a shit what you're trying to do. Let me get As my parents over here. Oh my God. For they can witness. Mom! Yeah. Bitch, what? Mom. Yeah. Can you come into the trailer, please? Come to the RV. I don't want these motherfuckers to arrest me. <coughs> how, did, how did the van have a breaking broken window now? Because I was sitting in the bag, and he went over there and tried to get me out. You're and saying. I ended up going out the passenger seat when he. I heard the like crashing sound of the window. Aurora claims that her boyfriend did literally everything he accuses her of, but her story isn't consistent and doesn't match the evidence and facts. Unlike her boyfriend's story, she's also uncooperative with the police and has sudden mood swings. It all seems as if she's simply frustrated because the police are suspicious of her lies. The police need to look for more evidence, but Aurora is obstructing them because she doesn't want to leave the area, so they will now arrest her. Try to guess whether the arrest will go smoothly or not. Well, Aurora, I'm telling you right now, you're, you're going to be under arrest. No, so he's the one that hit me. Mm, he did hit you. You're, you're right. He did hit you. But I, I need you to get up because you're going to be under arrest. I'm not going to get up. Okay. Loosen my teeth, and made me a black eye, and you're gonna arrest me. You know, yeah. I I would believe that, but the thing is, ah, uh -uh, you're is hurting you're, me. Sit up. You you're are just, hurting me. Up. No, or, I'm not. Great, you're great hurting me. Can you move your feet? Do you not see up. my fucking, my finger is bruised from where he hit me last time? Mm. Okay, come on, Aurora. I'm not getting up, Mom. Mom. Mom! Come on. Mom! Look at it! Look, look at them! She had to take her son to court this morning. You need to the loosen this and and uh, oh, no, no, she get up. Oh, no, 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 loosen the handcuff is hurting me. Wait a minute. She hasn't been listening to us. She's been like this the entire time. As you can see, there's a lot of space in the handcuffs. She's just turning her wrist. No, I'm not. Well, they came over here because you were in trouble. No. No, because that fing. She called and asked why. I need well, a pee. Well, let me go to the bathroom. Aurora, are you Aurora. Gonna, hey, calm down. Aurora, are you going to let me down. piss on myself? We're, We're going to let you go pee if you would calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I need to go to the bathroom. Well, like, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm on my fucking period, you stupid. Fat masculine oh, asshole. Cállate la boca. Let me go to the bathroom. Let me go to the bathroom at least. And you have And it's gonna be all bloody. That's fing disgusting. Are you kidding me? Stand up. Just drag her. Yep. Drag her. <laughs> Are you gonna sit up so we can put you in a car like an adult? You. Alright, roll on your side. You. Roll on your side. You. Back up. Oh. Back up, I got it. Oh. Basically what happened, she's upset about the sexual relationship that they are having, or not having. She's on her period, just how she said. She started attacking him, started biting him. When I talked to her, her story doesn't match up. His story matches up to everything that we've seen inside here. And that's the reason why she's going to jail is because she's the aggressor. Let's go shut the fuck up next time. Harriet Tubman. Where's your wife at? Last I saw she was a little bit. Lying back a gorilla bill, bitches, man. Items. Well, he's bleeding. She's not. Anybody else in the house? Mm -hmm. Just you and your wife. She was very upset at me. You mind if I take your knife until we're done? Yeah, go ahead. Here's what you're helping. So what happened? Uh, she was very unhappy with me. She what? She was very unhappy. I'm happy with me when I... Okay, do you want to lean in on my car? I'm going to have the fire department check you out anyway. I'm sitting on the couch, and she's screaming at me. And I was trying to not escalate, because she has a very bad temper. And then she started hitting me, and I just started defending myself. 
She was hitting you with her hands? Yeah, hard. I don't know if you can see my face. I don't know if it's Bruce or not. I have no idea. Um, she must have hit me a hundred times. What were you guys arguing about? She wanted me to come home. She called me. She was upset. We were having car carpet installed today. And she was upset that I wasn't here. So you got home from work? I got home from work, and apparently she texted me not to come home. And I didn't see that until I was already home. She was really pissed. So she's mad at you because you weren't here for the carpet installed? Yeah, and then she was mad that I showed up. Okay. And, then, and she started hitting you with her fists? Or like just open, open hands, hands. I mean, she boxed my ears a bunch of times. Okay. And then she picked up the beer that I had just started. I poured it into a glass, and she smashed the beer and landed here somewhere and shattered everywhere. So I did end up striking her arms to get her off me because she's grabbing my fist and she's just beating the shit out of me. I went in the closet to get real shoes on, and then, unbeknownst to me, there was a piece of glass that was attached to my foot, so it was in my shoe. So it went quick. And it took five minutes, it took me to get out of the closet because she's trying to trap me in there. Who's the next unit? You got any weapons on you or anything like that I should know about? Alright, let's go ahead and step on down. Let's get off the car. I just don't feel like it right now. I'm sorry. Get the fuck I'm up. so tired. I'm so Bitch, please. Either you get off the car or I'm going to make you get off the car. Okay, what do you want to do? I'll get off the boat. I'll get off the, the car. I'm sorry to bother you. Yeah, you're, you're not a victim, nigga. Fuck out of home. I'm so sorry. No punk ass out here. Nigga. Ugh. Where's Waldo it's built ass bitch? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Right What's your first name, ma'am? I'm Nicole. You get beaten by this. What's your last name, Nicole? By this elderly school teacher built female, bro? <clears throat> What's your date of birth, Nicole? She's gonna come over. She's What's your date of birth? I don't care if your daughter's coming. Your daughter doesn't answer for you. She's You're a grown saying, woman. No, no, no. She's going to tell you. She's going to come over. Nicole, what's your date of birth? I just told you my daughter's coming over right now. She's going to turn you. You're going to arrest, bitch. What's going on? You can at least look at me. No, just bitch. Just have a nah. conversation with me. None of this shit, nigga. So she's not talking to me right now. Yeah. Nicole is the wife of a well-known NFL team owner, and as he himself said, she has a volatile temper. That day, after a minor argument, she smashed a glass on his head, beat him, and trapped him in a closet. She was able to get a NFL team owner? Closet. And before the police arrived, she admitted to having taken several tranquilizers, hence the bizarre behavior. Her daughter is an attorney and will now take a leading role. She will silence her mother to prevent her from revealing too much information that could lead to a conviction. And this is how it looked. Where's she going? Where are you going? Hey, excuse me. Fire needs to check her out. Do you want to be checked okay. out now or not? Cut. Yes. The officer will like her too. Yeah, I already this. told you. I already told you. She's going to get checked out by fire yeah, first, and then you guys can have your conversation. And at this point, we're investigating the crime, so she is being there detained. There is no crime. I took. We're investigating the crime, so we have reasonable right. suspicion. I'm a defense attorney. I'm her representative. I'm representing that. her. You I understand, understand, that. understand that, but we got to investigate what happened. First. But she can be detained if no, there's reasonable suspicion. No, you don't, Mom. You want to talk to the officer? No, no she wants to talk to me first. That's her right. Okay, well then let her get checked out by fire first. She has blood on her. I 100%. Yeah, I think she okay, should. Okay, and then she told me she took some so I, I want her to get Mom, checked stop out. Talking. I took That's Pop, it. Stop talking. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you right, want to so sit? So let her get her checked out first. Out. And then no. have what, right, whatever no, conversation you want to have. Thank you, Just please, let's do that. And that's it. No. That's all I'm asking. No, she doesn't. Well, you don't want to. No, I do not want to. Okay, I agree with that decision. Our main priority is we want to make sure everybody's okay. Oh, I understand. I understand. Yeah. I'm not concerned, but I am. Yeah. I understand. Understand. Concern, but I am They're drug addicts, the nigga. Our main concern, which is fine. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm just. That's great. <laughs> I'm very, very sick no, today. Really nice. Sucks. Well, I'm very yeah. tired and tonight. Okay. But obviously, so you have to look at it from our standpoint, and then legally and everything uh, what else. Was on, but yes, what so. was on dispatch? What, what did dispatch say? That there was a TV call? Like, yes, yes. All right. Yes. I understand physical. that you have to. Yes. And then obviously we get here. You're a defense attorney. We see blood on someone. He's oh, waiting. no, no, no. You don't go there. That is a very easy assumption to make. She's and I see people make it attorney. 
I'm the sorry. Neighbor said no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying that you're an attorney. Did your mom just say she's not a defense attorney? Attorney. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that you're an attorney, so I'm just talking about evidence. Okay. So we can detain her for a reasonable time to conduct an investigation. Uh, right. Not without reasonable suspicion. I just stated that we have reasonable suspicion. For a fact that she is We have to, crime? we have to determine. What, what crime? Possible assault, DV assault. All right. Just no. um, Okay. I told the neighbors to go ahead and So we investigate, on. and then if we find out that there's not probable cause, and no one's arrested. I told the neighbors. Yeah, so she cause, doesn't have to let arrested. you investigate if you don't have probable cause. I mean, she can't be detained legally. On reasonable suspicion, yes, to believe absolutely. that there was a crime committed and the she call, committed it. The call came out as a DV physical. You guys are. I mean, you okay. know in court this does not fly. You absolutely know it. Okay. <laughs> oh okay. It seems the attorney is a bit lost. The visible bloody injuries on the victim's head, his shaken state, and the blood on the attacker's clothing are sufficient for both reasonable suspicion and probable cause. Hence, Nicole will now be arrested. However, like the previous investigation, Nicole will complicate the arrest as well. Nicole, Nicole. This is the last time I'm going to ask I you. I just need her to say it's okay. You're talking and not listening. This is the last time that I'm going to ask you, and then we are going to carry you. If you don't want your neighbors and everyone else to see these two us two officers carry you to the police. Everyone can Car. see right now. But it's you're gonna okay. you're gonna lose some dignity with that and I'd like you to keep as much dignity as possible right now. I don't want to do that. I don't I'm not worried not about my dignity. Okay. So she's are not, we going to have to carry she's not you worried or about her to dignity. go to the police car? Either by walking or us carrying you. I suggest you walk. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Stand up, I you just gotta. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Good. I do. Oh, right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe to more Blasphemous HD Twisms.